Hello friends, welcome to my channel Feast of Awareness. Now we are in the part three of this vaccine series. In this part, I will be sharing some general questions which many people all over the world need answers and wants to get some clarification on it before they take up vaccine. These are the answer that is shared by WHO and I, as a microbiologist, would like to put the limelight over it and spread the awareness about vaccine. If you have not watched part 1 and part 2 of this vaccine series, go back and watch it because it explains about how vaccine work in our body and how the officials approve the vaccine and many more things. Both of this part helps you to ensure that vaccine is safe. You can find the link in the i button and in the description box. Let's start with the questions now. One, is it possible that someone vaccinated against COVID-19 will get infected again? WHO says in their website that not all vaccine which is developed is 100% protective. Some of the people do not react against vaccine. This would depend on the vaccine specific characteristic which includes several factors like age, the person health conditions or any other previous exposure of the infection. WHO still recommends to continue all the precautions like social distancing, hand sanitizing and also wearing masks because even WHO do not know how long immunity from different COVID-19 vaccine will last. Question 2. Who should be excluded from receiving COVID-19 vaccines? Every individual is recommended to take a best advice from medical professional and know about their health conditions before taking vaccine. In general, WHO says people with following health issues should be excluded from COVID-19 vaccination. First, a person having a history of severe allergic reaction to any ingredient of the COVID-19 vaccine. Second, a person who are currently sick or they are undergoing some symptom of COVID-19. Though this person can get vaccinated once their primary symptoms have resolved. In general, WHO say that each vaccine may differ with specific population and also health conditions. Question 3. Is it safe for pregnant women, those planning to become pregnant and breastfeeding mother to receive COVID-19 vaccines? WHO does not recommend to discontinue breastfeeding after vaccination because it is not clear that COVID-19 vaccine are excreted through breastfeeding. And also there is very little data available to assess the safety of vaccine in pregnancy. So it's better to take the advice of your gynecologist to know about your health conditions and then go for vaccination. Question 4. How will WHO ensure vaccine safety monitoring and response when COVID-19 vaccines are used? Friends, not only COVID-19 vaccine but also all the vaccine that is developed by our scientists all over the world is ensured in national, regional and global level. You can watch the part 2 of this vaccine series which explains about how can we be sure that the vaccine is safe. You can find the link in the i button. Friends, it is the standard practice of all the national immunization programs to follow certain concern to ensure the safety of COVID-19 vaccine. Here, WHO supports the setup of safety monitoring system in each and every country and also after introducing the COVID-19 vaccine in the country. WHO works with vaccine manufacturers, health officials and all the partners to keep a track record on the safety concern and side effects of vaccine. Question 5. Do this COVID-19 vaccine cause side effects in the body? According to the reports in WHO, the side effects of COVID-19 vaccine was found to be mild to moderate and they last shortly. The side effects include fever, headache, fatigue, diarrhea, muscle pain, etc. Friends, WHO explains that Mostly, these side effects are mild and disappear within few days and many experts and doctors say that it is a symptom that vaccine has started working in our body system and hence turn down our immunity power to fight against the virus. Vaccines are continuously monitored to detect rare adverse events in the process. 
क्वेश्चन सिक्स कैन आई टेक कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन विद माई अदर वैक्सीन और कैन टू वैक्सीन कैन बी टेकन एट अ टाइम नो फ्रेंड्स टू वैक्सीन शुड नॉट बी टेकन एट अ टाइम डॉक्टर्स रिकमेंड टू टेक एट लीस्ट ऑफ फोर्टीन डेज गैप बिटवीन द वैक्सीन डोजेस और एनी अदर वैक्सीन दिस इज बिकॉज अवर बॉडी इम्यूनिटी नीड्स टाइम टू रिएक्ट विद ईच ऑफ द वैक्सीन एंड डेवलप द प्रोटेक्शन If two different vaccine is taken at a time in a simple language if i say it can cause confusion in our body immune response and cause severe side effects i hope i have answered some of your queries in this section if at all you have any more queries related to this topic do comment in the comment box do not forget to like share and subscribe this channel stay tuned for the next video